In this video, we are going to understand as to how do you measure various angles that we had discussed earlier. So let me draw some of them. This was a right angle. This was an acute angle. And let's say this was an obtuse angle. Now many a time we are told as to whether let's say suppose you had this one acute angle and you had this another acute angle. Now the question which would have come up is which angle is bigger whether this or this. So just like in case of a line segment while in some cases let's say if it were to be a comparison of A and B, I could have said that A is larger. But if it were to be done between B and C, it becomes a little difficult. So the question which comes up is, how do I measure this angle? Now to measure this, basically in your geometry box, you get something which is called a protractor. A protractor is basically a kind of a semicircle which is divided into 180 equal parts. Okay? These are the parts, like, although I'm not kind of being precise, but that's how a normal protractor would look like. And each of these part, each of these part, each part is called a degree. Okay? So you said this is one degree, this is two degrees, so on, so on, so on. You reach 90, you move so on. Somewhere here will be 135, so on, so on, so on, and you reach to 180. Now, again, the question which comes up is, if suppose I have to see whether this acute angle is bigger, okay, or this acute angle is bigger, how do I do it? So in such a case, what I normally will do is that I will find out where is the point of intersection between these two lines. I mean, an angle is always formed by intersection of two lines. Let's say, suppose this is the point of intersection. Okay? Similarly, for this, this is the point of intersection. And there is always a point here, which is like the center of the protractor this point so what I do is I put up take up this protractor and I align the center to the point of intersection of these two lines such that my protractor would then come something like this and what I do is I find out as to what is the degree on my protractor where this and this line intersect so let's say suppose this was 85 and this was 120. To find out the length of this angle, what I do is I subtract from the higher degree the lower degree. And whatever is the number, I write it as this. This symbol denotes degree. So I write 35 degrees. So the length of angle in figure C is equal to 35 degree. Similarly, I again put up my protractor here such that the point of intersection here and this particular point intersect and I find out, let's say suppose this is how my protractor look like. I find out the point where this intersects and this intersects. So let's say suppose this is again 85 and this is let's say 130. So in point B, the length of the angle is equal to 130 minus 85 is equal to 45 degree. And therefore, I conclude that angle and point B is greater than the angle made by figure C. Now, in case you were to do this with a right angle, it becomes fairly easy. Again, at the point of intersection, I put on the center. This will basically align with the center of this. And this, if you see, will be equal to the point where this intersects will be equal to 90 degrees. So we say that a right angle is equal to 
90 degree. Now again, how do you measure this obtuse angle? Now really there is no line like this out here. So in that case, what I will do is that instead of putting my protractor like this, I put it up like this. The center point that I have, I need to coincide it with the intersection point which is this. So this is where zero starts. Again, my protractor would look like something this. So from zero to here, which is let's say 115 degree. So I say that my angle, the obtuse angle is equal to 115 degree. So that's how you measure angles using the protractor.